Do you have any family history which might relate to Scotland by any chance? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Um, it was left to me by my grandmother mother, uh, in 19... She died in 1947. Uh, but both families originally came from New Galloway, uh, Kukubri, that sort of area. Wonderful. Well, this is a Scottish sideboard. We call it Scottish Sheraton because it's in the style of Sheraton. Ah, oh yes, Sheraton. And oh, yes. that would be about 1790, 1785, 1790. And we would date it from the following features. First of all, you have this very elegant, slight bow. Three nice shallow drawers to the frieze. Very careful choice of timber, giving all these wonderful waves going right the way through. Standing on four of the most wonderful square tapering legs with spade feet at the bottom. The whole thing has a superstructure, which is really peculiar to the northern counties and Scotland at this time, which is this box-like um, uh, structure on top with sliding doors. You don't find that in Southern Counties furniture at this period. And here again, they have used the most amazing choice of timber and laid it as veneer so that you get this mirror image. And then right in the middle, not knowing quite which way to go, they put it upright. Absolutely stunning. The colour is as good as you'll ever see. And just enough marks on it to show it's been used as a sideboard. That's what I like to see. If we just have a look inside, <clears throat> one of these, this drawer will do. And I don't really need to because it all looks so right, but those are the original handles. That's what a handle should look like inside. The little round nuts which hold the uh, screw threads for the front of the handle, slightly sunken in, not totally flush, and wonderful quality throughout. Now, there is one thing about the sideboard, which I don't know if you've ever noticed, but it's the mark of the most wonderful quality. When you look at it from the front, straight on, you see four square taper legs with a little spade foot. Yes. When you stand from the front and move to the side, you then see that the front leg is not a square, it's a diamond. And that is the most wonderful thing, because just imagine drawing that, let alone making it. It's the most complicated geometric thing to do. The man who made this was a master craftsman. And the man who designed it was a master. And I don't know if you have any valuation for insurance or replacement or anything like that. Well, if you wanted to replace this sideboard today from a good, and it would have to come through a good agent, dealer, a gallery, you'd have to pay around about £25,000 for How much? £25,000. Really? Good heavens! It's, it's as good a sideboard as you'll ever see.